Okay, so, okay, first of all, I want to apologize. I'm pretty out of it in this video, and I'm very low energy. My anxiety has actually just been really, 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 really bad. Uh, pretty bad the last, I don't know, month. It took me literally a month to get these looks together and to edit this and just put it all together. And, yeah, it's been really bad, and I think I'm getting through it, but... Yeah, so if I seem really out of it or like low energy or like this isn't everything you thought it would be, my bad. Okay, it'll get better. I promise. I'm, I really like doing these videos, um, doing a bunch of looks with one palette, so I'm going to be doing these in the future and hopefully they are a lot better than this. But um, yeah, so let's just uh, get into the video. I think the title is pretty much self-explanatory that I'm going to be doing three looks with this same palette. The palette that I chose for this video is the Milani Pure Passions eyeshadow palette, the 12 pan eyeshadow palette. It is so beautiful. I think that the mattes are wonderful and the shimmers and glitters are absolutely gorgeous. I adore this palette and I really wanted to make an entire video based around this palette. I did do a first impression and review on the one of the other uh, one of the other Milani palettes and I will link that for y'all as well in the eye and down below but I just wanted to really do three looks with this palette and if y'all want I could do three looks with the other one I'm pretty sure that won't be an issue. So yeah, hopefully you like this. I kind of went with like the, I wanted to go like easy, medium, hard or like soft, medium, intense. So this is the most intense look and it's just like a nice cut crease. I have two of the shimmer colors on my lid and like this really intense winged out eyeshadow. I'm giving myself like Cleopatra vibes. I love it. But yeah, that was kind of like the thing that I was going for it was like soft medium intense kind of things so hopefully you like that hope you hopefully you find it helpful so you can see that you can get very simple day-to-day -day looks quick looks out of this palette you can get super intense like intricate looks out of this palette so yeah hopefully you love it so without further ado let's get into the video okay so I'm first gonna start off with the shade always pink of me like what a cute name and I am just going to be tossing this in the crease this is our super simple eye look so I'm just kind of trying to get some definition in the crease and then to warm it up and make it a little bit more like orangey tone I threw in totally fun of you which is like again these names are so cute I love that so just to kind of make it a little bit more orangey and just like really light and fun but give some more definition to the lid or the crease or just whatever just kind of give you some depth in there and then I go in with the shade afterglow which is oh my gosh so pretty all of the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful I just threw that all over the lid and put some mascara on and a really pink blush and pink lip gloss and with a pink lip liner I think from NYX I just really like the way that orange and pink play with each other on the face. I think they're very complimentary. So I really like this look. It's very, very fresh. And if you ever wanted to know what I look like in high school every single day, this is pretty much it. It's pretty much it. So let's get into the second look. I'm going to start with the shade Fawn, Totally Fawn of You, and start working this into the crease. This is a really rounded out smoky eye. So we're just going to kind of apply colors and keep blending, apply colors and keep blending. And basically what I do with any smoky eye is like apply one color and then kind of blend it out with the color right before that. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Spice It Up, which is this really beautiful, super warm red color. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And this is going to be so flattering for like every skin tone, every eye color. Oh my gosh, it's going to be beautiful. And then I just go back in with Totally Fond of You and blend that out. I don't show a lot of that because I didn't want this to be super long. But trust me, I do a lot of blending, especially with the second and third look. I do lots and lots of blending. So just because I cut it out, don't get frustrated. I do blend this a lot. So when you are doing it on yourself, just remember to take your time and blend. Then for the inner corner highlight, I went a little bit darker than I normally would. I used the color Pink Sand just because the whole look is dark overall. And it's just such a pretty, pretty color. So I highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone with that. For the third look, again, starting with Totally Fond of You and working this in. I also have one of the 
e.l.f. like eye tapes and you'll see later that my eyes are totally uneven. I know, I know, you don't have to tell me. Then I'm going in with Heat Is On and packing this on the outer corner. I'm going to go for a cut crease later so I want the darkest portions to be on the outer corner. So I'm going to keep that kind of low actually, low for me, and just really deepen up that outer V kind of area and really wing it out as well. And again, I don't show a lot of my blending, but I do blend a ton. So then I'm going to go in with a Late Date, which is the darkest color in the palette. And also this is why I didn't like show a lot of my blending. I stop every two seconds. Like I'm not going to cut this clip at all. Look how many times I stop. I don't even remember what I was watching on the television. I don't know. I was watching a movie or a TV show or something and I literally stopped every two seconds to look at it and I was annoying the crap out of myself. So you can see as product leaves my brush, I do bring it all the way into the inner corner. This is just to kind of make sure that the cut crease blends really easily into the entire look overall, but a lot of that is going to get covered up. So don't worry about anything falling onto the lid. So then I'm going to take that tape off and go in with some concealer and do that like look up trick to see where it would touch. See a lot of it gets covered up so you don't have to worry too too much about that inner corner. But I like my shadow to be really far in like almost on my nose so that's why I do that. Then I'm going in with the shade Lust and Luminous. It, this is probably my favorite shimmer in the whole palette. It's not really a shimmer. It's like a gold and pink duochrome. Oh my gosh, it's freaking beautiful. And then I go in with a darker shimmer called the Biggest Flirt and kind of put that right in the middle. This way the shimmer blends into that really dark outer corner very, very easily. And holy moly, this is probably like my favorite look I've ever done ever, like since I've owned makeup. I love, I, I mean, I was mad that like my eyes were uneven, but the colors and the way everything blended together, holy bejesus, I was so happy. So I threw on kind of a pink lip with this one as well and threw on some fake lashes. Oh my gosh, I love this look so much. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. That was all three looks. Thank you so, so much for watching and bearing with me through all of this mess. Anyway, if you like this, don't forget to like, comment anything down below that you want to see. And other than that, I think I don't have anything else to say. So wherever you are, whatever you are doing, just have a good one. Bye.